In this video, we're going to talk about how you can use Ring Central's faxing feature to send a fax internally and externally. So to start, I'm already logged in to app.ringcentral.com and to use the faxing feature, I'm going to click on the phone here. Now keep in mind, this is going to be an e-fax that is going to be sent to colleagues or external contacts with whatever documents you have already on your computer. If those documents are not onto there, you'll have to scan those documents into your computer first in order to use this feature and fax from your computer. So there are two ways that you can use the fax feature. We will talk about them in just a few minutes, but I just want to show you here on the left hand side under fax what you're looking at. So you can look at all of your faxes in total. You can also see your sent faxes. So any faxes that you have sent, your received faxes, any faxes that you have received from people and any faxes that you may have that may have failed. So we have a fax that we received here and you can see there are a few options that we have here. We have the first where we can add this contact from someone who sent us a fax if we want to our contacts. We have the I here which will allow us to view the fax that was received. We have the download if we want to download a fax to our computer or download that that document to our computer. We can also forward this and if you also have the three dots here on the right you can mark this as unread, block the number or delete it as well. So if I want to view the facts that we've been sent, it's very easy to do that. You're just going to hover over it, click on the I, and then it's going to open up in a separate tab where we can see that fax that has been sent to us. So we're going to go back here to Ring Central, and if you want to send a fax, so there's two buttons that you can choose to do this, whichever one, they both work the same. You can click on the little plus sign here right next to where it says fax, and it's going to ask you to put in the fax number or contact number. So we can put our internal contacts, so if you're going to be faxing inside of our organization, you can just type in the person that you're interested in faxing, and you can put in their information there. You can send to more than one person if you like. You can also send internally and externally at the same time. So I have an internal contact here, but let's say I want to fax to somebody outside of my organization, I can simply type in the number here. I press enter and that will then enter that contact in, that external contact in for me to send the fax to. For the cover page, I can choose from any of these options here. I'm not going to change any of this, but you can take a look at these if you choose. You can preview it by clicking on the little eye here and it'll show you what it looks like. And you can also write a cover page note as well. The cover page and the cover page note, these items are both optional, so you do not have to do that if you don't want to. Now it's time for you to attach the files that you want to fax to your recipients. So to do that, you're going to click on the attach file button here, and it's going to open up your, your hard drive where you can then choose the files that you want to send. And you can choose more than one file at a time to fax. So I'm going to just choose two of these here and I'm going to press open and that's going to put those files in there for me. So if I was going to send this fax, I'm not going to do that right now, but if I was going to actually send it, I would click send now and that it would and it would show up in my sent faxes if it was successful. If it failed for whatever reason, it would show up in my failed section. And one thing to keep in mind if you are going to be using this feature is that the fax does not go through immediately. So if by any chance you're trying this out for the first time, or maybe you're testing it to see how it works, if you don't receive that fax right away, do not get worried. There is about sometimes five to 10 minutes that you are waiting for that fax to go through. So just give it a little bit of time before you get nervous that it hasn't gone through. So in this case, I just want to press cancel because I'm not actually going to send this fax. But another thing that you can do is you can click on the plus sign here in the upper right corner and choose send a new fax. And you'll notice that the same option comes up. Since we didn't send that last fax, it automatically populated those names inside of there. But if we sent it and this was just starting from scratch, everything would be empty again and we would just follow the same process as we did before. Another great thing about faxing is if you do receive a fax, you'll also get that fax in your email where you can view it, but you can also view it from inside of the application as well. And you can pretty much fax any faxable file. You aren't able to fax videos, but you can fax Word documents, you can fax PDF documents, and so on. And that's how you fax using RingCentral.